Oh, so Jesse, we didn't even bring Kleenexes. It takes a big man to admit his mistake, and I am that big man. That's a Michael Scott quote, but it so accurately describes where my head is at right now and where my heart is at. And my heart is on my sleeve because we screwed up. Boy, did we screw up. And we didn't. When we, when we do something bad, it's a me. I screwed up. I did some talking about two months ago about the Miami job that looked like it was going to come open. And I was talking about their dream candidate, who I thought was a very, very long shot, if not an impossible shot at the time. And his name was one Mario Cristobal. He was the head coach at Oregon. Things were rolling up there. They were the favorite to win the Pac-12. And I just thought there was infrastructure in place there and lack of it at Miami that would make it completely insane for him to go from Eugene to Coral Gables. And um, we were wrong. So the other night, we wrapped up the show. And then the news broke. And if you're watching on YouTube right now, you're seeing a tweet that I put out. I had it all ready to go. And um, it says, I was wrong. You were right. Welcome home, Mario. And I addressed it to all of Kane Twitter and all Miami fans. I put it out on all the social platforms. And I just want to tell you, this is where I want some credit. A lesser man would probably settle for just putting this tweet out. But it takes a much bigger man to admit a mistake of this magnitude. And I have to be that bigger man tonight. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give each and every Miami Hurricane fan exactly what you deserve. And that is me sitting here and having a giant triple stack plate of crow in front of me. And by that, of course, I mean watching every second of this video. Roll it if you must, Colin. You got to be a better job than Oregon. That's the domino that needs to fall. And you may look back and you may say, what did he just say? Miami's got to be a better job than Oregon. Yeah, that's what I said. Because to be clear, Miami's not a better job than Oregon. When you hear people say things like, money's not going to be an issue, or you hear people say things like, oh, we're ready to spend. First off, it's easy to say. It's a lot harder to do. Secondly, when they say that, they usually mean we're going to be able to match a coach's salary. That's not what you have to match. You got to match Nike's salary. That's what you have to match. And I'm telling you, Miami will not do it. I don't know if they're capable. They got a bunch of zeros on the end of the health fund down there. I'm telling you, I don't think they'll be able to do it. Well, breaking news, they did it. You did it. And so again, from me to you, I was wrong. You were right. I'm stupid. You're smart. Um, you are attractive. I'm not that good looking. Everything that needs to be said towards our Miami constituency tonight. I know you've waited for it. I see you drooling right now. I see the foam coming out of the mouth. And it should be because you got the job done. And so now, hopefully, with that behind us, gone but not forgotten, we got to get down to business. I mean, what does this really mean? This is huge. Obviously, I didn't expect it to happen. It's huge. I think when you look back now over several weeks slash months, really, uh, even Miami Hurricane fans know this now. There was reason, if you were just judging by the past, to doubt that Miami could get this done. Because if you were to apply the past, what Miami has been in recent history, to the present, there was no way that Mario Cristobal was coming down here, even if it is home for him. Uh, but that's where the tune changes. Because what had to change is the story here. I think I had a reason to initially doubt, just judging on, you know, recent history. And so things did change. And that means it's a new day there. And you look at Manny Diaz now, and you, you look at what he was and wasn't able to accomplish. And Manny Diaz, you know, a lot of people thought, oh, with the way they handled him, maybe he'll just quit. You never quit. If you got a buyout in your contract, you never quit, friends. It'll be over. The pain will subside. The buyout money does not. It takes a long time to work through the kind of money that Manny Diaz has coming to him. But I want to be clear about this. It, it's a new day. A lot of people say that when you get a new head coach. So I want to be very clear. It's not a new day because Mario Cristobal came home. It's a new day because of what had to be in place to bring Mario Cristobal home. Mario Cristobal was not coming home for what Miami had been. He's coming home for what Miami can be. And I can assure you, they had to check every one of those boxes and assure him of it before he was ever able to sign on that dotted line. They have, he did, and it is a maximum 
investment in football. To be clear, that's what we're talking about here. It isn't one man. True enough, you hire one man. It's not one man. It's given the right man all the tools to build a machine. Alabama's a machine led by Nick Saban. Ohio State football, it's a machine led by Ryan Day. Miami football has to be a machine. And hopefully, Mario Cristobal is the kind of guy to build and then run that machine. But I'm telling you, this is a new day. And make no mistake, it's got a lot of folks down there nervous, as it should. But to be clear, when you build that machine, it's not just hiring the right defensive line coach. You know, everyone can say recruiting. It's so much deeper than that. It's sports science. Obviously, it's nutrition. It's the psychological aspect. It's understanding how to harness marketing at this level. It's understanding how to win with NIL. It's understanding how to leverage the transfer portal. But also, it's understanding how to make people know again. When you drive down I-95 to recruit in South Florida, you got a war on your hands. You hadn't had that feeling in a long time. There have been a lot of folks, not even from that state, driving down I-95 to Broward and to Dade and American Heritage, all those high schools down there, and understanding that, yeah, Miami's down here, but they're not really down here. They're there now. I can assure you if nothing else is clear to you, Miami's there now, and you'll have a war on your hands. You may still pluck one every now and then, but you're going to have to knife fight, and you're going to have to knife fight the actual program in the backyard down there to do it. I've, I've, it's been a long time. I'm kind of excited to say it. It's been a long time since you've been able to say that. But I want you to now think about sort of the reset button in the state of Florida. I'm going to talk about this more in just a second uh, in a different segment. But, man, it, it's always been one of my go-tos to kind of gauge how your opponents, how your rivals feel about a hire. Always believed in this. It's not the end-all, be-all. But I've always been a big believer in gauging how effective the hire was by how your rivals feel about it. And I can assure you, they do not feel as comfortable talking about Miami today in Gainesville, Florida, or Tallahassee, Florida, as they did this time last week. And so that alone is worth a certain bit of solace if you're a Miami fan. But to know that when either of those programs, or Clemson or Bama or Ohio State, when they start to drive or head down to South Florida, knowing they got a handful in terms of recruiting, that's also something that makes you sleep well when you go to bed tonight. But man, I mean, it's been a while. It's been a while since we could say that. 